Aloha from Hawaii. My name is Holly Rudin Broski. I'm author of Holly's Ukulele Method and the article on syncopated accompaniments in Ukulele Magazine. In this video lesson, we're going to cover how to use syncopated accompaniments to spice up the interpretation of your favorite songs. Please read my article in Ukulele Magazine that accompanies this video to find a transcription of The Fox, the song we'll be using as our learning example. So let's get started and have some fun. So what exactly is syncopation? It's any rhythm that puts an emphasis on a beat or a subdivision of a beat that is not usually emphasized in a song. Most syncopated music for the ukulele is in the 4-4 time signature. That means four beats to a measure of music. In 4-4 time, the strong beat is usually on the odd-numbered one and three beats. Beats two and four are usually the weak beats and are also known as back beats. For example, just strumming down one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, I call that walking rhythm. There are two main types of syncopation used in your favorite ukulele songs. The first is even beat syncopation. I'm just going to strum on a C so you can play along with me. So it goes one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. You'll find this in a lot of reggae music. Red, red wine. <laughs> the second is called off-beat syncopation, and that happens when the strong beat or the accent falls on a half beat. To understand this, bear in mind that one quarter note equals two eighth notes. So when counting this type of syncopation, we're going to count one and for the first beat, two and, so it'll be one and, two and, three and, four and. So here's how offbeat syncopation can sound. One and, two and, three and, four and. In this lesson, we'll focus on offbeat syncopated accompaniment patterns because they're really interesting and they're fun to learn. To get you started, I'm going to teach you three basic patterns that you can practice with one of my favorite old English folk songs called The Fox. Let's start with pattern one. This is a finger picking pattern with individually articulated fingers, thumb on the G, index on the C, middle on the E, ring on the A, thumb index middle ring. As you can see, I use an ukulele strap because it frees up your right hand fingers so you don't have to hold your ukulele with them. This is especially helpful for playing while standing as well as for sitting. Plus, it takes pressure off of your arms and neck for more relaxed performing. There are many ukulele finger picking techniques and I urge you to learn as many as possible, including mine. I like a floating arm and hand technique, which is extremely ergonomic and prevents arm and wrist issues like carpal tunnel syndrome. So start this technique by positioning your forearm on the soundboard at the top of the ukulele hip. The forearm floats above the soundboard to allow it to resonate. If you rest your arm entirely on the soundboard, it can slightly dampen the tone quality of your ukulele. A floating forearm frees the upper part of your forearm fingers to quickly combine finger picking as well as strumming patterns. Your hand is an extension of the forearm. It is straight. It is never bent. So here's another look at that. Straight, never bent. Fingers hover over of the strings and you don't want to anchor a pinky or a middle finger because this will inhibit your mobility. And it will also 
take a loss on your finger agility. The strings are plucked as your hand continues to hover over the strings so that the strings continue to resonate. Fingers really go back on the strings once the music starts. Otherwise, the music will be choppy because you're muting the strings. Your hand position determines the sound quality that you get with each different song. If you wish a brighter sound quality, you'll position your hand over the sound hole. If you want a more mellow, more depth of sound quality, you'll position your hand over the sweet spot where the body meets the neck. I don't know if you can hear that in the video, but there is a distinct difference. We'll practice pattern one, starting with open strings. That means no finger on a string. I have my hand positions in the sweet spot because I personally like a more mellow sound. It's all what you like. I have my thumb positioned along the G string with the fingertip pointing towards the head of the instrument. I am plucking from the ball joint with an extended thumb. My index finger is on the C string. I'm plucking up towards my palm. My middle finger is on the E string, plucking up towards my palm. And my ring finger is on the A string. Now let's practice the double stop that starts this pattern. That means plucking two strings simultaneously. So I'm plucking thumb middle, index ring, middle index. Let's practice that again. Thumb middle, index ring, middle index. Now let's practice with a fretted G chord because we're going to be playing our song in the key of G. I would like you to now practice and count one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. Thumb middle index ring, middle index one and two and three and four and. Now let's practice with a metronome. I have a metronome plugged into my sound system and you hear it playing at 65 beats per minute. This is so helpful, especially if you are learning how to play a syncopated rhythm. You hear the metronome counting all of the eighth notes. So you're hearing one and two and three and four and one and two and let's play. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Now let's play pattern one a tempo or in tempo to the first verse of the fox, one of my favorite old English folk songs that dates back to the 15th century. Here goes. The fox went out on a chilly night. He prayed to the moon for to give him light, for he'd many a mile to go that night before he reached that town. Oh, town, oh, town, oh, he'd many a mile to go that night before he reached that town. Pattern number two is a straight strumming pattern. For pattern two, as well as pattern three, I recommend strumming with your thumb, as not only is it the strongest finger, it also frees up your other fingers for finger rolls or adding in some string plucking if the spirit moves you. So instead of moving down and up, 
which will tire out your bicep really, really fast, what I'd like you to consider is rotating from the elbow. So we're going to aim down for the underneath of our fingernail with a rotation. You don't have to go too far past the, the neck of the instrument and then up with the top of the fingernail. And notice you have to give some pressure. Down and up, rotate down and up. Now, let's try the pattern. We are going to go two downs, down, down, then up, up, down, up, down, and up, up, down, up. Now let's add that to a count. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and down, down, up, up, down. Now let's play pattern two a tempo to the second verse of the fox. One, two, three, four. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. He ran till he came to a great big bin. The ducks and the geese were kept therein, said a couple of you will grease my chin before I leave this town, oh, town, oh, town, oh. a couple of you will grease my chin before I leave this town. Pattern three includes a down finger roll. In order to do that, the right hand thumb holds the tips of each finger in place. And then to practice, each finger shoots out forcefully in this order. Pinky, ring, middle, index. Do it again. Pinky, ring, middle, index. You should feel a little thwunk against your thumb. Middle index, pinky ring, middle index, pinky ring, middle index. This also strengthens your fingers, pinky ring, middle index. And as you do it, you want to feel that articulation. Now, you're going to hold the fingers in front of your instrument, and you're going to go down slowly each finger with articulation. Pinky, ring, middle. Index. Make sure that you are hitting every single string. Pinky, ring, middle, index. As you get more proficient with this, you'll get faster. Pinky, ring, middle, index. Pinky, ring, middle, index. Pinky, ring, middle, index. Eventually, you'll be able to do this. And you'll hear that articulation. Da la da. Now let's include the roll into the finger pattern. So we're going to start with a thumb down, then you're going to roll down, up, down, up. Let's do that again. Down, roll, down, up, down, up. One more time. Down, roll, down, up. Now let's count it. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and down, roll down, up, down, up, down, roll down, down, up, down, roll down, up, down, up, down, roll down, up, down, down, roll down, up, down, up. Now let's play pattern three a tempo to the very last verse of the fox. One, two, three, four. Down, roll down, up, down, up, down, roll down, up, down, up, down, roll down, up, down, up. The fox and his wife.
without any strife. Caught up the goose with the fork and knife. They never had such a supper in their life. And the little ones chewed on the bone. 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 They never had such a supper. Let's apply the three patterns to songs of different genres. How about this calypso tune, Yellow Bird? Here goes. Yellow bird, high up in banana tree. Yellow bird, are you all alone like me? Did your lady friend leave? The nest again, that is very bad, makes me feel so sad. Did your lady friend leave the nest again? Are you lonesome like me? Here's one of my favorite Hawaiian songs, Hene Hene Ko Aka, which means your laughter is so contagious. It's a song written in the 1930s about young love blooming during streetcar trips to the most fun Honolulu neighborhoods. Hene Hene Ko Aka, Ko Ale Ale Apa, Hame Amaoi, for you and I. Thank you so much for learning with me on this Ukulele Magazine video. I invite you to visit me at hollyukulele.com where you'll find free music. Also, please join my Holly Ukulele Method Facebook page. I hope to see you soon. Ahui ho!